Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we're going to be talking about the costs, right? So we're going to be talking about the short run costs. So suppose you already watched the videos, the previous two videos on cost revenues and profit and in that we talked about what is short run. So in this video we're going to be talking about the short run cost. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's suppose, you know, we take an example that, you know, there's a firm which actually produces toys, right? So there's a firm which produces toys and uh, it will actually incur something that is known as total, total cost, which is the total cost of production, right? So that is something which is uh, the total cost of production is something which is known as the total cost. Now what you have is you have two kinds of total cost. You have your, uh, you know, your, you have your uh, total variable cost, right? And then you have your total fixed cost, right? So you have your total variable cost and you have your total fixed cost. So this is something which is denoted as TVC and this is something which is denoted as TFC and this is something which is denoted as TC. Now we have the total cost and the total variable cost. Now what is the total variable cost, right? So it's actually the total cost of the variable asset. So this is nothing which is the total cost of the variable assets, right? And uh, if I talk about the fixed cost, that is something which is cost of all the fixed assets, you know. So whatever cost you, you know, whatever cost, so what are fixed costs? Fixed costs are something which do not change uh, in the short run, right? So these are something which are fixed. And what about the variable cost? So the variable cost would be something that keeps on changing in the variable cost. It's like, uh, you know, purchasing raw material. So that's actually, a, a, you know, a variable cost. So purchasing raw material because the uh, raw material is kind of a variable factor because I can actually, uh, you know, change the variable factor in the short run. But over here, let's suppose the rent on machines or let's suppose the rent and uh, the machine costs, right? So all these costs are fixed. You have to, okay, machine costs won't come in that. I'll talk about the rent, the capital, all these things are fixed there, right? Because they actually do not change over the period of time. So from here, I can say that total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus the total variable cost. And if I were to plot these costs on a curve, so this is the cost and this is the output. So if I were to plot these costs, so now how does the variable cost, what, what happens to the variable cost? So as you increase the output, you increase your costs in the short run when it comes to the variable cost. So the total variable cost, they actually, they increase with respect to your output, right? And what about the fixed cost? So this is something which is known as the total variable cost. And what about the fixed cost? So the total fixed cost is something which is actually a constant. Even if you produce zero output, you'll be still be incurring this much, incurring this much fixed cost. And what about the total cost? Total cost is nothing but this plus this. So the total cost curve looks exactly the same. However, it's just fixed cost units above the total variable cost, right? Uh, so because total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus the total variable cost. So this is how the total cost curve looks like. Fine. So I suppose you're understanding this point over here. Now let's go ahead and talk about the uh, average cost, right? So let's talk about the average cost. Now what is an average cost? Average cost is the cost uh, of production is the cost of production per unit, right? So let's suppose you're incurring TC amount of total cost, producing Q amount of, uh, you know, units of production. So average cost, which is denoted by AC, is nothing but the total cost divided by the total output that you produce. Again, you have two kinds of cost. You have average variable cost, right? So that is average uh, variable cost. Now, what's an average variable cost? An average variable cost, which is denoted by AVC, is actually total variable cost divided by the uh, number of units you produce, 
and what about the average fixed cost that is going to be total fixed cost uh, you know which is there total fixed cost divided by the number of units you produce so again the total fixed cost is something which remains constant uh, again it will not remain constant because yeah it's it's depends it depends upon the number of units you produce right so that is always going to be there so how do you define average cost average cost is average variable cost plus average fixed cost fine so i suppose you're understanding this point over here so that is how we define the average cost so this is the second type of cost which is the average cost and then this is the first kind of cost which is uh, the total cost then we have the third kind of cost which is known as the marginal cost so what do you mean by marginal cost marginal cost is uh, it's actually is defined as the increase in the total cost so it's defined as the increase in the total cost of product of producing an extra unit of output So if I say that right now I'm producing, let's say, 50 units of output, let's suppose 50, and uh, my total cost is, let's suppose, $5,000, right? As soon as I produce 51 units, my total cost is $5,100. So marginal cost will actually be the change in the total cost divided by the change in the output, right? Which will be 5100 minus 5000 over 51 minus 50 so that is going to be my marginal cost so it's actually the extra cost that you incur to produce one unit of production that is something what we know as the marginal cost so marginal cost is nothing but the change in the total cost divided by the change in output now what we're going to do is so uh, so guys thank you very much for watching this video in this we have actually defined all the costs Right, so what we're going to do is in the next video we're going to be talking about the curves of uh, you know average costs where you know average costs average variable costs all the curves of all the costs because i'll be taking up an example and showing it to you so i will definitely need another separate video for that right so i suppose you've understood what we've done here guys thank you very much for watching this and i'll see you in the next one